Good morning and thank you for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Danny Huey. Election 2014 wrap up now. It looks like Matt Schaefer will be going back to Austin for a second term as House Representative for District 6. He beat out Skip Ogle. He'll now face Joel Gardner, the Libertarian candidate, during the November election. Schaefer's supporters were at his campaign office for a cautious victory speech last night as the numbers slowly began to trickle in. The current state rep says he's looking forward to another term. I think that a conservative message standing on principle resonates with the people of East Texas. When, when you show them a conservative voting record and that's what you're going to stand for, people out in the neighborhoods respond to that message. This is, I think, the greatest community in, in, in the greatest state in the nation. So to be able to even be a candidate for that and to have the kind of support that we've been able to garner, the support from across this community, that's, that's been the greatest honor. There was no Democrat in the primary election, but Schaefer will face, again, as we mentioned, a Libertarian candidate in November. Joel Gardner is the only other candidate in that race. There will be a runoff in a high-profile state race. Incumbent Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst will face State Senator Dan Patrick in a May runoff. They were the two top vote-getters in a crowded race that included current Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson and current Ag Commissioner Todd Staples. The winner of the runoff faces Leticia Van Pute of San Antonio in November. Other news to tell you about this morning. Tyler police are asking you to be careful again when you're traveling over bridges and, ro and overpasses early this morning due to the freezing temperatures. Now overnight it is possible that some places have become hazardous for you to drive on. The Beckham Bridge has shown a few patches of frozen uh, ice there this morning. Last night, officers had to direct traffic at that location, so they're asking you to be careful this morning and take it slow at least for one more day. Speaking of all that freezing temperature stuff, let's get over to Scott Fossey now. He has an update on that. Clinton Dana, your forecast today on this midweek Wednesday. After a chilly start, we'll see temperatures hovering in the mid 40s right around lunchtime today with increasing clouds. Still chilly though with an east northeasterly wind, but not too brisk today, right around four to six miles per hour. As we head into the mid afternoon hours today, three o'clock on, I'm going to toss in a 30% chance for some light showers starting to develop around East Texas as we see highs today top out near about 50 degrees. Should get a lot of snow and the remaining ice melt gone around East Texas this afternoon before the showers move in from the west during the overnight hours tonight. That's when things could get a bit dicey between about midnight and sunrise tomorrow morning, especially closer to about 3 a.m. Early on your Thursday morning, as temperatures drop and moisture moves overhead, we could see a bit of this along and north of the I-20 corridor, changing over to a rain-sleep mix for an hour or two. Don't anticipate any travel problems, just be mindful of that. Decreasing clouds, sunshine tomorrow, and a high of 53. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. We'll have all your election information right there. Hope you have a great day. See you tonight.